So becoming a parent can bring a lot of joy, of course, but it can also cause a lot of stress and anxiety. And now baby formula shortage causing panic for many parents trying to feed their babies. The Biden administration has been criticized for not responding fast enough, but yesterday the administration tried to address the problem. Kate Walsh is with us this morning. She also has some critical information for parents trying to find any alternative they can to feed their babies. Well, if you've recently become a parent, you've heard the phrase at the hospital, breast is best. Pediatricians are saying at this critical time, if you're about to have a baby, consider breastfeeding. It's a lot of work, but free, and it supplies all the nutrients your baby needs. There are resources like the Warm Line at Women and Infants that offer lactation consultants and support, but not everyone can do this, say, if you've adopted, and some moms may be past that point. So what do you do? Hasbro's doctor Phyllis Dennery says, do not try to make your own formula at home. Not all formulas are created equal. For example, she said a soy based formula may not have enough calcium, especially for newborns and do not try to water down the formula that can be dangerous. If your child is more than six months old, you can supplement with baby food to fill your baby with nutrients. Some people might say, oh, well, I'll use goat milk or cow's milk up till age one. Babies are supposed to only have either breast milk, that's the best, or if there's no breast milk formula, but mixed according to the re manufacturer's recommendations. She said the best thing to do is to speak to your pediatrician because there may be another supply of formula that you can get through them if the store shelves are bare. And in the next half hour, we'll talk about how the Biden administration is responding to this shortage caused by product recalls and supply chain issues. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. So a little bit of panic setting in among parents as they try to figure out how they're going to feed their babies. Biden administration now addressing the baby formula shortage really having parents scramble right now. Yeah, some of the bare shelves out there, we're, we understand it's caused by either product recalls or supply chain issues, and parents are trying to find alternatives. Kate Walsh is with us in studio. She has a warning from a pediatrician and also the response from the White House. Yeah, you know, there's been this situation going on for weeks, if not months, and critics say the Biden administration hasn't responded fast enough. But yesterday, Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the FDA could be making an announcement soon about importing formula from other countries and that the president has been speaking with manufacturers. In the meantime, it's panic for parents not sure how they'll feed their babies. Hasbro's pediatrician in chief, Dr. Phyllis Denry, says breastfeeding is best. It's a lot of work, but free and supplies all the nutrients your baby needs for the first year of life. It can be difficult, but there are resources and support systems available, especially through women and infants. If that's not an option for you, the pediatrician cautioned against making your own formula because it can be very dangerous. She said she's never seen anything like this. This is the, the sad thing is that we have to uh, make uh, sure that whatever we have is safe and to rush into production in an unsafe environment is not, is not recommended either. She said the best thing to do is talk to your pediatrician. They might have another avenue for you to get formula if the shelves are bare. All right, Kate, so some parents might have a little bit of formula mm -hmm. left. They try to water it down, do a little home yeah. remedy. That is not a good idea, right? No, and in fact, you know, we're told when our kids are babies not to give them water, and you might think, oh, it's just going to fill their bellies with zero calories rather than the nutrients they yeah. need. But the doctor actually took it a step further, and she said that water can go to their brain and cause them to have seizures, and they are seeing some cases of that. So it's dangerous to do that, and you don't want to do that. All right, well, I'm sure you'll keep us posted on this shortage. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we get a remedy soon for it. Thank you, Kate.